evening, everyone, and welcome to a little learn with me session, learning how to use Canva to design flyers, to design business cards, to create your Instagram posts, or anything that you would otherwise need to pay a graphic artist for. Now, guys, I'm really just going to be going through the basics, not going through the biggie of it. However, if you are finding substance in this and you see where you would want me to dig a little deeper in, then feel free, let me know, and I will so arrange. So right now, I am going to share my screen so that you can see exactly where I am going with this matter of um, of learning how to learn to do Canva. All right, so here in Google, I'm going to type in Canva. And that's the first thing that you want to do. And you are going to look for the www.canva.com. Now, for me, because it's going to automatically, um, it's going to automatically go to mine because I am already logged in. But what you would do is that you would create an account and you would set up your Canva account. Now, once you have, I hope those dogs, that's my neighbor's dog, my apologies. Now, once you sign in, once your everything is signed in, you're, I'm going to seek to go through what different things are and then show you how you can search for what you're looking for. All right. So to the sides, you will see. And oh, I must tell you, there is a free version of Canva and there's a pro version of Canva. I am actually using the pro version. And so you're going to see some stuff for, that maybe if you have the free one, you are not necessarily, um, you're not necessarily going to see some of the things. But I will show you how to identify both the free and the pro one. Give me one minute, guys. You'll see templates and projects if you're working on any, and if you have any files. So, like I said, mine will help me maybe look a little different because there are some things I have there. But let's here is where I want you to focus on where it says, What will you design today? Now, there is one out of two things. You can either go across here where I'm moving my moving the mouse. You can either go across there to see different things, or you can scroll down to see different things. Now you're going to be seeing a lot of stuff that I have because I have created quite a good amount of things, but I'm gonna take you through as if you are brand new to this. So you have, for, so notice it says for you, so these are actually my things that I've actually created, as well as it's giving me different ideas of things that I could try. So I can try docs, I can try whiteboard, I can try Instagram posts, Instagram story, Facebook live, you name it, it's all there right um you have them up here as well all the different so the social media posts the presentations whiteboard website there are more things there as well this thing is endless guys as it relates to the amount of things that you could be doing with canva like when i say endless i mean endless right um as a matter of fact one of my book one of the books that i have was actually created um, using Canva, I business card, and you will see all the different ones that's coming up. Not only that, but they also, to niche it down, to find something, they have different keywords at the top here. So if you're looking for a teacher um, business card, a freelancer business card, a hair salon business card, and let's explore some of them so we can see. Let's click on hair salon. You notice that some, they're coming up with different things that um, speaks to hair salon right so like you're seeing the face of somebody or you're seeing like scissors and that kind of thing um let's go back sometimes i type in to see so like it's since we are in travel because you're like you're in the travel group right yeah so we can put in travel travel business card travel agent You see different ones. 
all about travel. Now, very importantly, before I go down, you'll also notice that they give you a blank here where you can actually create your own. You can see me, by the way, um, you like, you can see me? I've seen, I've seen you. Okay, okay. And you're seeing the screen. Yeah, I'm moving up and down though because I'm doing some stuff. So, so you, we can do one out of two, th two things. We can either choose to work with what already exists we can modify what exists or we can literally create our own. So let's see if we can do both. Let's modify, let's seek to modify one that exists. And also let's see if we can do one on our own. Now, if you notice now, there are several templates on here. Cause like here it is, travel, travel templates. There is 44,000. I don't know if we lose that, that's something you can decide, you know, 44,000 um there so we can click on it because sometimes too, we don't have to pick the first one um we can look around and see what is there sometimes too it could be that you're looking for a particular color scheme or so so like when all right let's use i'm gonna choose this one i like this i like hmm all right let's choose this one first customize so it says customize this template now very importantly before i even go there sometimes depending on what we're using it for you may want to read what the yes, fine prints are if you notice when i move it let before before i click on it, if you notice when i move my mouse over it you're seeing the boxes um highlighting which means that these are actual picture pictures that were um put together on a blank canvas so sometimes too, it could be that you want to use this size, the overall size, which is this look like a rectangle, or it could be that you want to change the picture, you want to change the sun. Maybe you don't like the look of this sun, so we can take it off, or we can take off this um this particular sky and beach, and we can search for something else. Now a way to do it is I'm I'm moving the mouse to the this is my left. It would be your right. And these are the various things that we're, we can look for. We can either look for a different design on this particular template. We can go in elements. We can go in uploads, text. Everything else would be what I have created because I have things already in there. Now, let's say, for instance, I don't like this sun and I want to change the sun. I'm going to go to elements. Most of what you need to create, whatever it is in Canva, is in elements. So I'm going to search for sun. Now, different things will come up. The sun, you have the option of using a graphic, sun, a graphical, um, you know, something that's not so real, which is what they seem to have here. Because if you notice, as we click on it, this is what comes up. Or we can use a photo, or we can use a frame and then put something in the frame. So let's look, let's explore to see if we're seeing any better looking graphics of the sun that we may like a little bit more. And there are several different sun. Now, again, if you're creating a flyer that you're going to be printing, you wouldn't use these animated ones. Notice my I'm moving my mouse over this animated one. You call that animated. You notice it's moving. You're actually looking for something that's still. So even this one here, I'm moving the mouse that is spinning. You wouldn't use that. However, if you're looking to create stuff to put on your WhatsApp um, status, or on your Instagram page or your YouTube page, you can use the animated ones because those are tailored to show um, move to show animation or video format then. So since right now what we're creating is actually just a flyer, we're looking for a nice looking sun and I want to look for something that would reflect Jamaica. So I'm going to play with this one for the time being. I'm going to delete this one. When you click on it, you notice you see the option. You can either duplicate it or delete it. I'm going to delete it. I'm going to take the sun and put up here. Now, I don't necessarily like this particular view. I'm going to look for something. I'm going to search for beaches in Jamaica. So I'm, I, I can, I'm going to delete it. Notice, as I said, when I move the mouse over, you see it highlights. I'm going to delete it. And sometimes, no, it, depending on the version, again, guys, that you're using, if you're using the pro or the free version, the pro version gives you a little bit more 
um, you can do a lot more than on the free version. I am on the pro version. So this allows me to do a few things that maybe the free one does not allow. I don't remember all the things that the free does not allow me to do now, but feel free to ask questions as we go along. And guys, just for, it's what, $10? I think I paid $10 per month for Canva, Canva Pro. Now, I chose, personally, I chose to use Canva Pro because I use it for, I have a publishing um, part of my business. I use it to create books. I use it to do all kinds of stuff. So it was beneficial to me to have the Pro version. So here it allows me to delete. There's a frame in here and I'm going to delete the image and show you what I mean by there's a frame. As a matter of fact, no, let me delete the frame and show you. Delete the frame, everything deletes. I'm going to undo that. I'm going to just delete the image. And this is what we call the frame. So anything I move over this, I'm going to give an example what I mean. I'm going to move this one and put, no, you can't move the graphics. It has to be a picture, sorry. So if I move this sky and put, the, the frame automat automatically picks it up. So, but I don't want this. So let, let's delete the image again. I'm going to search now for beaches in Jamaica. And I'm going to, because this is a frame and the frame will only take photos in there, I'm going to search through all the photos. Matter of fact, guys, oh, let me just go back a minute. Just to, hold on, hold on, hold on. Sorry, delete the image. I wanted to show you something. When I clicked on beaches in Jamaica, notice it gave me video options that I can choose from. I can choose from graphics, I can choose from photos, and I can choose from video. There are also audio there that you can choose from. So we can do one out of two things. We can check because the flyer we're doing, a still flyer, let's check on the photos. We wouldn't do video and we wouldn't do video simply because you remember what I said, you like why we wouldn't do something nice that reflects um the this beautiful place that we have here. Hmm. I like this little coconut tree. And then because again, in this particular case for us as um as travel, travel persons here, we would want to choose something that is going to help to um, sell our business. Now guys, these images are images from Jamaica because I actually typed in beaches in Jamaica. So I think I want to see if I can find something maybe with a coconut tree. I could actually choose, here's one look with Dunsville Falls. And all I did was just to grab and drag it across. Now, the thing is, again, you can play with it. You notice this had the sun there, but the sun don't look too, too good up there. So I'm going to like it up there. So I'm going to remove the sun. But the, the thing looks still look a little bit bare. So I can do one out of two things. I can either extend what is here up there, or I can probably put a text up there. So let's put a text, let's type in, I'm going back to, um, I can type, I can either use text or I can search for elements and see if the word Dunsinger Falls is actually in Canva. So I'm searching to see if Dunsinger Falls is in there as a word. I'm just going to go to on the graphics to see if it's there. From all indication, no, it's not there. So I'm going to go text. You have the option of selecting all of these here, various text in different fonts, or you can decide to use regular heading. Where you see this arrow here, I'm moving up, moving it up to the top. I'm going to type in Duns River Fall. It's already highlighted. Duns River Falls. Now, if you notice, it's falling, the falls is falling into the picture. But, and I still have some space up here. So you can do one out of two things. I can either put my mouse, my cursor over this, see where, where it's putting, where, when this changes, and I can drag it out. Right? I'm also going to center it. I can do it, I can do it um, using my mouse as well as there are things up here in this box where I'm moving that can help me to do so. So again, I can do 
but I, it's easy to do. And you can use your phone, guys, because most times it's my phone that I use. And remember, if you want to get something to move, you have to, you have to something there. You have to you click on it. And once you see the change, it highlights, then you know you can move it. To know if the thing is centered, I want to center it in this case. You notice that purple line that is in the middle, that's telling me that vertically it is center. But I also want to check that, well, in this case, Right, it's telling me I'm at the top of the paper, top, top of the screen, and it's also, it's telling me based on the line that was in, I'm gonna move it a little again so you can see. The line is telling me that I'm off a little, come back. So once I see that line coming straight on the middle, I know that I'm, I'm, I'm um, it's centered. All right, so the Duns River look a, look a little, a little dull. I want it to look a little more exciting. I can, I can highlight it and go to fonts. Sorry, here, where's the Canva, Canva Sans? You have, you can, this is where you change your font. So I can choose to use Twister or whichever font you like, because some persons will tell that they like some fonts. I'm not going to go too much into this because again, because I have the pro one, it's telling, it's going to give me more. Now guys, if you're seeing, You'll notice when you're going, especially for the free version, if you're seeing the crown beside yours, it means that it is pro, so you won't be able to access it. For me, because it is thing there, then I am going to have access to all of these. I like this Dungeon River Force. I'm going to let that stay. But I don't like the color. Come out of it. It's black. I don't like the color. I want to change the color. I'm clicking on here. The text, see when I click on the A with the color color, it gives me a different color. Now I can have it mimic. The color can decide, I can decide to mimic something that's already in the picture, or I can choose a completely different color of my own. Or I can come over to here where you're seeing uppercase, sorry, go to effects. And effects gives me a way to um, style what I have there already. So maybe I want a little backing on it. So I click this one that says background. But again, I don't necessarily like the yellow. Again, I could leave the yellow. Just clicking on it. I could leave the yellow because again, remember, this is all this is creativity, guys. So you're doing whatever it is that you want to do, whatever makes you happy, whatever you think will make your card or your flyer or whatever it is stand out, you decide. So come back to tech effects. Um, so I don't like the background. So I'm not going to use the background. I want a neon. But again, the neon is making it... Um, not so kind of dull. Click back on it again, go back to effects. I'm going to the, try the glitch. The glitch gives me two different colors. And here I can change the colors that are there. That not look too bad. Or, sorry, go back to effects. You can play around with it and see if when you click different ones, what, what is it changing your thing to look like? Right? Um, hmm, this one look too bad. Or guys, I'm going to show you another way that we could actually fill this in to make it very, um, look pretty, pretty nice. I'm going to delete this all together. I'm going back to elements and I'm going to type in letters. And when I go to letters, I have the option of spelling the word as you can see. See, I'm looking for, I'm looking for done, D, sorry, D. The D is, you can find letters in all different format here. This is too exciting. I really want the one there. Or I'm gonna go back up. Or I can decide that I want to use, go back to all, I want to use the frames. And this part I kind of like, guys, and I'm going to show you why I kind of like this part. I'm going to just put the word done, D-U-N-N, -N. I'm looking for N and N. N, N, all right. Now you notice these are big, so I'm just pulling them to the pulling them and sizing them. This is the other end. 
Mm -hmm. So size, I realize, I know it's, it's big. So the D, the U is still too big. The N still too big too. So two is this one. All right, I'm going to show you something now. So I'm going to go back to elements. I'm still in elements. I'm going to put, I'm going to type in backgrounds. And I'm going to do photos. Let's say I want. Uh, all right, we can explore. I was going to type, we can explore. I want to try this one. So I'm just going to pull it over. Oh, sorry, I need to be careful how I put this on. I want the D to, I want it to, let me small it up. Now, if you notice what is happening, so when I move, you see it's in here speaking up because there's a frame in there. A frame, so you have to be careful now, whatever you're bringing across because it's going to pick it up. So I'm going to stop. Hold on. It look nice. I'm going to put it on the back, you know, but it's not the back I want it. You say change the background. That look nice, eh? <laughs> All right, make it stay there. So I'm going to, what I actually want to do is to put it, these to take on a different um look. Let's see if we can, please don't pick up that. Ah. Hold on. All right. You know, when, when you're having trouble, you just open another page. Move down the D. Move down the U, the N and the M, right? When you're having troubles, you just open another page and fix the things and then you move them right back up, right? So I wanted to use this. All right, find something else like this, all right? what else is there try it down cool and i'm just playing around here i'm really just playing around here um just showing you how so you see i change change the color of the done let me just see if i can get this to look All right, now I'm not so sure if um you let you know now. All right, so highlight them and just come up here Hold on. and click the word group. So this now, I'm moving this all as one. So I'm going to go back up with it now. I want to move it back up. Up on a while, right. And I can, in this case, now I can work with it as one. And let's say, for instance, it's not all we really want it. Again, I just highlight it. Well, it's already highlighted and just click on group. And you notice now I can move the letters around. All right, you had a question, you letters. You have a ton load of letters to choose from. So we can do explore... Yeah. So if you notice, you have you have capital letters, you have common letters, you have them in um okay. what you call this um like here's a nice a h mm -hmm. and stuff. So you have them in different um form, different form, and it tells you to here if you want them in scrap scrap scrapbook letters, alphabet magazine letters. Okay. So see, they come in all different um, all different forms, all different forms that you can play around with. All right. So, so we know we had the done. All right. Let's go back to just typing the word done river, done's river there, and just so we can move on. Oh, hold on. Pause. And 
We're changing. The canvas signs is the one that's always there, but it's not all that attractive. So I usually just go look for something or I stick with something. In this case, what was it? We had used the twister. I'm just going to let the twister stay. I'm going to change the color to white. And I'm doing that now simply because the background change, um, had changed to, to um, this dark green. The, the thing now is that these, remember this is a pre, pre, um, preset um, flyer, but I changed. So I went in and I changed the, the, the picture that was in there. These, this not really look nice here. So again, no. So I can do one out of two things. I can either choose to remove it or I can put something in there. Since I'm trying to advertise my business, I'm going to remove the image. And I think I might just... I just put my face if we can't find it. Oh, let me choose this one. I'm going to put my face. Sometimes when it's not, oh, shucks, it's moving everything. Hold on. When it's not moving fast enough, you just minimize, just minimize and then move. Right. And you notice it cutting out my head. So I just double click on it and pull it down some more. Right. Over here now, I might just want to put, um, again, because I'm showing Duns River Falls, I think I might just take out that too and put in, look for something else. Go back to elements. Everything you need is in elements. I'm putting um, mountains, Jamaica, blue mount mountains. Again, I'm looking for a picture. I wonder, why am I putting mountains? Um, falls. Falls in Jamaica. I think I like this one. Or even this one is nice. You want to be careful how you're pulling it over too because it's a frame. So that looks nice. My picture now looks so nice. So again, you may want to, you got you on your fix. Yeah, I don't really like it. Now that I see it, now I don't like it. So. So I'm gonna, I think we're going to take out the picture and find something else. One next, something about a falls. Or maybe, maybe I could find something. You can put something, maybe something cultural. All right. And then now, this is coming together nicely. These, because the background is sort of dark, I, I would change these change them to white, change change the color, maybe to white. I think it look a bit more catchy. I might not say time to travel. What we could have said here, so you let. Time for a flyer that exists and we just created um, something of our own. All right, yeah. let's, let's go for, so this was modifying one. Let's create one from scratch. Okay. All right. Um, I want to delete. You want to use it as a back because I have a frame in there, or we can use it as a backdrop. Yeah. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Stretch Supposed to pick it up all together. What happened? Oh. Hold on, hold on. It's not catching. All right. This one need to change. So I used as a backdrop. But what am I putting in here? Can look for the word. Okay, we can put. There's anything that says multiple streams. Um. No, you know what? Probably better you leave the money part in the picture and then we use a solid background. And we can always change that to maybe a gradient background later on if we want to. Okay, all right. I like that. All right, let's go back. Cool. Right. And, and you know, we can with words or anything. All right. So here, all right. So let's go backgrounds. Kind of background, I think we should put here. So, no. 
the dark, the black one there. Is it me? Is it you know? Is it me moving? <laughs> yeah, feel it in the back now. Huh. All right. And then those or wording now. What would we say now? We can say so. We never say something. Heading. Um, Want to ask a question? Yeah. Um, so, um, are we along the lines of, um, put the question up here? Change that to white for the time being. Mm -hmm. earn, earn your share. Yeah. Your share by contacting and then we put number mm -hmm. all the contact info all right so but we're not finished because we want to make this now a little bit more appealing so this one mm -hmm. some things to dress it up so like me to put this down here so um hold on Maybe not reverse. Reverse, reverse. And then if you have your own logo or if you have your business name, you, you can put um contact your business name or since you have none if you want to keep Denisha's pictures there. Necessarily. Because you, yeah, you you're advertising your own business. So you could put your picture there. Either you want to put your name or you want to put your logo. Or your company name or your company logo. Mm -hmm. And then your contact info. Something for put in there. Um, all right, cool. But then, like me say, it still look blah. I still want something yeah. more. So this is in, so we can change the, we can change the font. Font, it's all in the font. Mm -hmm. All in the font. We can make it playful. We can, we can probably put a block over the money. As in, go back to elements and choose a square and drag it across. Mm -hmm. well, Shapes. Right. Actually, the word, inside there. the word, oh yes, yes, we could. Hold on. Small it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. You can drag it straight across to the edges and then let the words center up in it and big them up more. And then increase out the size of the words and drag out the edges so that it fills it across. Right. But well, we still have up here, so looking a little, so we can move the maybe put the logo up there, mm -hmm. leave this down here, and we could also put a frame around it. Uh, let's have goal, 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 rectangular. I we're doing this since I'm recording it for persons know that you can put in. You can type in whatever is coming to mind. You can type it in and see if it exists there. I like this. So I I love um love the splash of gold. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah. Splash of gold. Oh, my while ago. Hold on. What my while ago? Mm -hmm. Oh, you know what you could do? Bring back the logo back down to the bottom. 
and we can put a different wording up there. We can say, do you like to travel? Or is um like, you know, appeal to them if travel is already their hobby and let them know that it's an $8 trillion in industry so they can earn from their own travel. That kind of angle. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's or, go on. Yeah. Did you know? Do you love to travel? Um, okay. No, take out the travel and put one in the text box and put the travel alone in a data and make it big. Okay, go girl. All right, so do you love to... Actually, again, this is what I love to do. Now, come here, somebody see me find the yeah. find the word. <laughs> <laughs> Look if I find the word, and I do. Mm. See, because I mean, I have the pro one, so I mean, I really me just use and just use um, what you have. <laughs> it's fun, man. Can I tell you? I it's so. it's fun. <laughs> Yes, that looks good. All right, we need a question. Exactly. Question mark. Um, and the, the fact that we're recording again, guys, this is just to show you a lot of stuff that you could be doing that you can. This looks like it's off, you know. Hold on, let me see if it's off. Yeah, too off, it's too balloony. Yeah. Um, but more challenge we go for professional yeah yeah ah there you go an image image oh this too dark image image is everything um mm -hmm. similar to whatever your business is guys however serious you take it that's however serious persons will um your customers and those looking on will take it as well mm-hmm Right, and then let's put back our frame over this now. Let's pull this over a little. Pull this over a little. You want to change that travel to white or maybe gold to match back with the, oh, the, the, yes. the square? You are so right. Orange color, whichever one it is. There yeah. you go. And then pull down this. This looks like mini fit. No. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Let me see it look. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, that's right. Over the door, you will it's a bit more underneath the T. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we're just putting the contact in for down the bottom. Right, which we did. And mm -hmm. then let's put go back to our frame. Our gold. Gold splash. Mm -hmm. Or yeah, okay. So and 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 I'm like glad you said that because I discovered that I can with the goal, we can do with not not just the goal, but with different things we can put so many different things there. We can have the like even this we can put this here. Yeah, that's nice. Sorry, we just realized they pick it up. They pick up the money. If I turn it. Mm. Not necessarily, let me see. Yeah, look nice on there, so. Or up at the top. That's what, me, that's what I'm trying to hold on. Put it mm -hmm. behind the logo, though. Yeah. And good, like you said, that's how we can show person. So we do that. We click position. And we can, we just click backward it goes backward and this is highlighted however you can hardly make up my logo so i can do, yeah, let me just do cool. something i just want to put a frame there mm -hmm. so i have a solid background yeah right perfect so position backward right Back. mm -hmm. so you can mm -hmm. Turn the circle there in a white. No, yeah. black, 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 black. The gold will pop more against the black. Oh, 
Oh, yeah. because my name is in black. Put it in white. Okay, great. Okay. Mm -hmm. Have it. And then so we can leave the goal there. So go back to the go back to what we had there, the goal, goal splash. Put a little copy that goal splash and put it up at the top. So just at the corner. It doesn't have to be as wide as how it is at the bottom, just at the mm -hmm. top corner. Turn it around. You can flip it. You can do horizontal and vertical flip. Mm -hmm. So flip. Um, so we want to flip it to horizontal. Oh, it's for horizontal. You mm -hmm. wanted to flip it, okay? Yeah. And vertical. And vertical as well. Yeah. No, which one you want to do? Both. Right. So then you keep it right at the edge there, so that is this. It 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 swirls the opposite direction to the one at the bottom. Oh, all right, hold on. So if you see the edge right there that is turning down into the travel, flip it vertical so that it turns up instead. Yeah. Oh, that's fine? Mm-hmm. Okay. Carry it up a little bit more. This way or this way? Up here? Yeah, yes, yes, yes. Okay. Turn it now. Um, rotate it a little bit down. That way? No, not, not, not flip. The, the image itself turn to yeah that keep that and then the little swirly arrows on the frame itself mm -hmm. yeah so just angle it right and then pull it back down a little bit more now yeah there you go right now. Our, and this looks good mm -hmm. so again guys if you are you're watching this on the repeat you know, actually, well, I remember put my right number. No, that Missy said that text is looking so good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. I can actually... drop the email address there, too. To yes. pull up this page some more, can drop the email address. Exactly. Um... You can probably drag it over some more so that it, it takes up some more at the left space, where from my angle is the left space. So mm. that it's the logo over that space so drag it down a little bit more off of the money thing all right hold on let me put in the name yeah, the let me put in the email, email. Yeah. So. all right which one which one you're saying where oh okay, down so here just, yeah yeah pull it up more pull up the text box itself no man small it up more take it off of your logo drag it drag it in the edges as long as your email don't cut off, right? Mm -hmm. And just big them up back a little bit more now. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Care about don't just say your email match back in it. Yeah, man, I just think. Yeah. All right. No, no, carry down so far. Fit it back up into the black space. Let it drop over the black and the gold space together. Right. Some place there, so. So it look kind of balanced. <laughs> <laughs> you can bring the logo somewhere. Now the logo can I bring in somewhere and up. Well, uh, because um, if you're going to print it, I also consider if you if you decide to print it, you have to consider the print edges too. Oh yeah, that's true. So guys, you see, um, Yolette is uh, we're here teaching you. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Pull this up some more. This the text box. And just like you did before, you can always group things. Mm -hmm. Yes. I wanted to small it up a little. Okay, and then drop it back on it. Mm -hmm. There you go. Mm -hmm. There yeah. you go. So we just so what we just did a while ago, guys. So those of you who are watching this on the repeat is demonstrating that the we, we created this flyer from scratch as well as this one we actually um we had actually modified a flyer while this one we created from scratch and you saw all different elements that we put in there i mean who can who could tell that we're not graphic artists <laughs> <laughs> to remove the, the, the background from the picture let me do it i'm gonna do it here so what i do 
I'm clicking on the picture. I'm going to go edit image. And here's the background removal. Mm -hmm. You wait until it's finished. So all of that behind me, in terms of the, the, um, the trees and the building, they're going to disappear. It'll take a little while to process, but when it's done, you're pretty excited about what you can do with it. Okay. There you go. Nice. It's looking so, well, I look like it's not done. Why does it look so? Okay, great. And so again, we can put a frame over this. We can leave it as is, or let the fact that we have a white frame down here. So I'm just gonna I'll duplicate do this. I can do that. Put it up here. Pull it down a little. Let's see. Hold on, no more. Position the back. There you have it. Mm -hmm. Right. As as well as hmm? we can, good. yeah, we can change the 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 white background there to let's say we want it to be gold. We could make it gold. Now you know me not going to trouble it. May God just leave it alone. White, yeah. <laughs> right. So there you have it, guys. And so no longer do we have to be spending a bag of money um, or a lot of money, <laughs> let me speak properly, to um, get flyers made. You just need to create stuff like these guys, print them depending on where the printing is not too, too expensive. And um, as well as you don't necessarily need to, oh, let me show you how. So we did this in a flyer form, but I want to use it for Instagram. So I'm going to highlight it, click on it. I'm going to go to resize and I'm going to look for Instagram, in this case, Instagram post. I'm going to click the copy and resize. If I only click resize, it's going to resize the, the entire thing. But I want to be able to keep the original um, flyer as is. So I'm going to copy and resize. Oh, that's a pro. Yes. So notice now what it did now, it just converted my things now you're noticing though that because we did the conversion you notice that they are a little out so no so what we go in and do is that we just adjust yeah. guys works like a like a real charm out yes we can pull this in a little or we can take it back to the side right and since this is not we're not able to see this down here i can just simply go back over to elements pull a take a cover up box pull it over let it out to this size it mm. right i can leave it like that or i can i'm going to see i can also do what they call the transparency make it like that so it's not so bright and I just, just adjusted the transparency. In this case, now I can either change the color of here or just leave it. So this is readjusting. So guys, again, you notice we just did the work once as it relates to created one flyer. And we can, from that one flyer, we're able to create multiple stuff. Again, I can go in now and I can also, again, click on this. And I can go into resize again. I'm looking for TikTok story, copy and resize. And again, all you need to do is that, yes, it's adjusting because you know it's different shapes. You just simply adjust your things accordingly, but you don't have to go creating um the things again you create once and you just resize for whatever it is that sorry you are doing ready for tiktok guys so i just created the thing once and i got tiktok out of it i got instagram out of it and i got a flyer out of it and so this one converted However, guys, um, the long and short, let me just stop sharing screen. Um, I think this was quite fulfilling. Yolet, I think I think the next time now you and I will do this as a team. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no.
Lord. As I said, please let me know if you found substance in this. And if you'd like us to continue to do more, I will draw you late with me and we will do some more. <laughs> All right. Bye-bye. Take care. <laughs>